ho, ho. It's your boy, St. Nick from the North Pole, here with Brian Walker. How are you doing, Brian? <laughs> hey, how you doing, uh, Jolly St. Nick? <laughs> I'm doing great. Hopefully that impression was was good enough for you. Those of you who don't know, uh, when I was setting up the interview, Brian told me I better sound like Santa Claus. <laughs> he, he wanted Christmas Eve, so I said, hey, it's got to fit, you know? <laughs> oh, man. So, Brian has a huge matchup coming up January 6th, 209 Beatdown 4 against Solomon Valentine. Yeah. So, this is, uh, Solomon was originally scheduled for Robert Carreras, but he had to step out. Brian's taking this fight kind of short notice. How do you feel about this fight, Brian? Oh, I, I feel really good. I, I've been wanting to fight, uh, you know, for the last six months, and so... Uh, I haven't stopped training since my last fight, which was like last October. Uh, no, October 2016, actually. But I've just been training, training, training with the other guys that have fights coming up. So, you know, I, I really got the itch to go in there and uh, start talking with the Mike, the matchmaker, and he was able to put this together for me. All right. Those of you who don't know, Brian, uh, he's not coming up in the camo. This will be his first fight in California. He is ranked, I believe, 74 in Nevada, correct, Brian? If that's what it says, I don't have it in front of me right now, unfortunately. Yeah, I believe so. He has uh, two fights. He's one and one uh, coming out of the Extreme Couture Gym. Uh, you, you mentioned that you were able to train with a lot of people with their fights coming up. Who are some of your training partners? Oh, uh, well, I am officially training at combat fitness and so there's a lot of really good uh, muay thai fighters there like you know charles rockstar rodriguez uh you know i got to spar him a few times when he had his fight coming up uh, those were very tough sessions and then uh there's former strike force competitor uh eric oh, i can't remember his last name uh Anyway, he's just he's, he's really awesome there. And then the, the grappling coach at Combat, Gil Castillo, just has tons of experience. But, but I've also been training with an MMA team in Pleasanton, Gorilla Jiu-Jitsu guys, uh, JT Donaldson, and mm -hmm. uh, also one of his partners named Kai. Uh, you know, all, all those guys fight regularly. JT actually has a fight coming up, so I got to help. I'm getting to help him in his camp. So it, yeah, I just feel like I've been in a camp already myself. So that's mm -hmm. why I feel ready to go. You mentioned Kai. Is that Kai Wu? Yeah. 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 The shadow. Yeah. Uh, he fought out the... I'm learning a lot from this guy. Yeah. I, I see him posting a lot on social media as well. So one of the things that kind of different from Nevada to, to Camo is the the rounds i seen that you had one fight it was three rounds 15 minutes total so it's five minute rounds and then one was three rounds three minute rounds um all of my rounds that i that i have fought correct me if i'm wrong have been three three minute rounds all, all my fights have gone to decision uh but are they uh I think they're, they're either two or three minute rounds in camo, or is it just two? It's, uh, so I, I'm going off of topology. It's notoriously not always correct. So that's why I like to, to put it out there and then you could correct me and then we could get the right information out. Yeah. So um, if it's a non-title fight, it's three two minute rounds. If it's a title fight, it's three three minute rounds in camo. Okay. And then, that's kind of like in, uh, Nevada and and sometimes California, uh, the the top enough events are two minute rounds. Okay, yeah, yeah. Now I actually had uh, I don't know what topology says, but I actually had two amateur fights in South Carolina. No, no, no. Sorry, three amateur fights in South Carolina before I ever moved out to Nevada. Oh wow, no, I didn't know that. So you've had what you're four and one now. No, I, I am two and three. Two and three. Okay. Yes, sir. One of the things I wanted to talk to you about, I, you actually went to school for graphic design? 
Yes, I did. I went to Clemson University. So I got to say, go Tigers. Uh, they've been having a tremendous football season. That's awesome. But yeah, I, I went there for graphic communication. Uh, I leaned more towards graphic design. And so I, I went, so I got, I got my bachelor's there. And then I went to Atlanta for two more years of schooling just to really concentrate even more on my graphic design. I saw you had a website and it had some actually really cool t-shirts on there. Are those still available? Oh, uh, no, no, there, I, I need to do some more, but, uh, that, that one was for, yeah, a particular campaign that ended a, a while back, but, uh, uh, actually I do a lot of shirts and mugs, et cetera, for, uh, my day job. Oh, okay. Yeah, the uh, uh, the one I'm talking about that caught my eye was the, the Doc Holiday design. I thought that was really sharp. Oh, you like that one? Yeah, I thought it was oh, pretty thanks, cool. thanks, man. Yeah. Cool. Any Anything that we didn't cover that you'd like to, to give a shout-out to? Uh, no, just that I'm, I'm really excited to fight, and uh, I'm glad that they had something coming up. I, I feel really good about this one. Uh, I, I'm... Also fortunate that there's video of my opponent on all of his fights, so uh, I, I can see where there are holes in his game that uh, I, I will be working to take advantage of. And uh, skill-wise, I mean, I've, I've never been better. And so, yeah, you, you could say I've never been more ready. Do you think after this fight you take more fights here in California? I would like to. Now, here's something interesting about my situation. Uh, I travel with my girlfriend. Uh, she moves contracts. She's a, a, a travel occupational therapist. And so uh, we've been moving from city to city every three months. So it really depends uh, where we end up. But I, I would like to fight some more in, in California, you know, especially since I'm going through all this to sign up with camo. It's not cheap. Right, yeah, there's a lot of testing and stuff that's involved. Yeah, the registration cards and all that. It's, a lot of people don't realize that, and then, I mean, it's not like you're, you're making money. Yeah, uh, just part of being an amateur, I guess, and uh, yeah, they... They have some bureaucracy here that you, you got to go through to fight, but if you really want to do it, you got to do it, right? Right, yeah, and what that does is, I mean, the people who do jump through the hoops are the ones who really want to fight and are the ones who are going to go out there and perform and, and you know. Well, you, you know the guy's serious, you know, if, he, if he's got to do all that. This area, you know, we've had quite a bit of young fighters go up through the amateur levels and then turn pro, and then now some of them are, are appearing in the UFC right now. So it, Yeah, it's, can you, who, who is someone you can name uh, recently? Uh, Benito, or, or did, does anyone come to mind? Benito, the golden boy Lopez. Uh, really? Yeah, 135, he's from Oroville. He, he fought some some cam, a lot of camo fights before coming up. Um, he's, wow. He's had two fights, Dana White, Tuesday Night Contender Series, and... Uh, this last, uh, I believe it was 218. I'm not sure. This last UFC, and both were spectacular fights. But tell me his name again, please. Benito Lopez. Benito Lopez. Yeah. And uh, what? Any idea what camp he was out of? Or what, um, what, uh, what gym? No, he's from Orville. I, I don't know the name of the gym right off the top of my head. Um, Orville. Where, where is that? Uh, it's north. It's kind of like uh, Yuba City, Marysville, and kind of north of uh, Sacramento. Okay. And uh, okay. Forgive me if my geometry is not correct. I don't. I don't have a map in front of me, guys. Man, whatever. That's that's what's so cool about, and I think that's what a lot of people don't know about California is that uh, there's there's so many small towns here with, with talented fighters. Thank you for your time, Brian. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks a lot, Nick. And uh, you and your family have a Merry Christmas. 
YouTube, 209 Beatdown, January 6, 2018. I can't wait. I'll be there live in person. I'll be able to actually record Brian's fight against Solomon Valentine, Stockton Memorial Civic Auditorium. Thanks again, Brian. Have a Merry Christmas. Hey, you too, Nick. Thanks a lot. I can't wait either.